welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works hi today i am going to explain about how to create plastic container using solid modeling as well as surface modeling this exercise is for beginners as well as new to surface modeling and plastic component design see so this is the simple container i have created using solid modeling and this is also a similar container but i have used surfaces to create the model see here finally i have created similar model so in this exercise we can understand how to create a model using solid modeling as well as surface modeling so initially i am going to create with solid modeling let's start now i have taken a new part file and created a sketch on the top plane and this is a center point rectangle 130 by 100 now select this sketch go to extrude boss and this is 35 height now select the front plane go to sketch keep it normal give it in wide frame take an arc joining two edges here This is eighty. Ten point two. Sixty-two point three. See, this ten point two should be other side. Now select this edge, convert into T, and select this edge also, convert into T. Go to trim into T, take corner trim, select these two lines. Create a center line from the origin. Select mirror into T. center line 
and go to extruded cut. Since I have selected the center plane, I will take both sides and say OK. See why it is not taking because this is not merged properly. So for that what we need to do is go to trim entities, select these two lines. Then this loop will be closed. I think it should be vertical. So now go to extruded cut. So you can see the preview. Select both sides. Say OK. See one side material is removed. See here. Now select the right plane. Go to sketch. Keep it normal. Keep it in wireframe. Here create one circle. Three point arc. Radius is sixty five. Make it coincide at the point. Select this center and origin. This is 13.7. Select this edge, convert entity. Select this convert entity. Go to trim. Select corner trim. It's exactly matching. Take a center line. Go to mirror entities. Select the center line. Go to feature, extrude cut. Select through all. Material has been removed both the sides. Now, here I have to apply the fillets. Go to feature, select the fillet. See fillet we have to select a vertically, vertical direction. So, I am selecting these edges. And the value is 10 mm. So, this is for removing the sharp edges. And for aesthetics also. Select this face, go to fillet and take 10 mm radius, say OK. Now this solid block is ready. I have to use a shell option. I 
and here I am taking 1 mm see here it is creating a shell so this uh, plastic container is created now see usually this is the direct method we usually follow this method for simple components the solid modeling is only for simple components so next time i'm going to show you how to create with the surfaces i am in the new part file i have created a sketch on the top plane and create a square of 200 by 200 mm so now i am going to create a planar surface with this sketch now select the front plane create an arc this is 10.2 this is 62.3 So this is height of the container, so 35. So this one we have to drag below the origin. Take a center line. Now go to mirror entities. Select this arc and mirror about center line. Say OK. Go to surface module. Take a extruded surface. Here we have to take 200 and above mid plane. Now select the right plane, create one more sketch. This is This value is 35. Sixty-five. So 
similarly take center line mirror entities select center line Go to surface, extruded surface, select mid plane and it is 200 in depth. Now I have to trim these surfaces. Go to trim, go to mutual, select these two surfaces and select these two surfaces to remove. Similarly, Select this surface and this surface. And remove these two surfaces. Here in trim surface we can't use mutual surface so we have to select this surface and remove this perpendicular surface. Now select this go to surface and remove this. Select this surface Remove this Now select this face surface and remove this additional surfaces. Go to trim surface. Remove this. Finally, we have to merge all the surfaces. So, okay. Now we have to apply the fillets. Okay. Now select the bottom face and apply fillets. So before 
apply thicken option we have to check surface bodies whether it is a single surface or not otherwise we have to use knit surface now go to thicken and select this and i'm going to take 1 mm inside so this final component is ready now so this is how we create a component with surfaces if you understand the surface modeling of basic components then it's easy for us to create any complex plastic components in surface modeling so after completing component we have to analyze some of the features of the component so we have to go to evaluate first the thing is that we have to analyze the draft analysis so select the pull direction and check whether the draft is permissible or not so since the component is inclined walls so we don't have to apply the drafts otherwise we have to apply the drafts to the side walls so here the pull direction inside is green color so this one will be a core so there is no undercut so other side the red color will be a cavity see so the component is safe to create injection mold in component next is analyzing undercuts it is similar to draft analysis here we don't have any undercuts this is not applicable but i am going to explain undercut analysis in detail in upcoming videos next we have to check thickness analysis so here i have taken 1 mm thickness so whether i am going to maintain 1 mm throughout the component or not because uniform wall thickness is mandatory for plastic components so i am going to evaluate this see here it is showing the thin regions so it is safer if it is shows a red color then we have to increase the thickness so this component is having uniform wall thickness here also sometimes we add the rib features and some other additional features then we can check for the thick region also so that's how we do the thickness analysis next so whenever the component is ready we have to check for the mass properties so before that we have to apply the material so here the material is not specified so i am going to take abs so now i am going to apply mass properties see the mass is 37.78 and volume is 37k meter cube and sometimes we required a surface area for if it is a plastic component and when we go for post processing like metallic painting and everything so then we use surface area and here we can find the center of mass that is exactly at the y axis of 11.35 so if i keep it in front view see this one so this is how we evaluate the component once the final model is done so this is how we create a plastic component using solid modeling 
as well as surface modeling in upcoming videos i am going to create still more complex components with surface modeling so don't forget to subscribe my channel and do follow my channel thank you very much